So this week I got my Voyager, which is a keyboard by um, CSA. And I just, this is just a small video. It's not a complete review about this keyboard. I will do that in, an, in another in another video. This is just to show you the different layers I already have set up for the keyboard and how you can see those different layers active on the keyboard. So this is how I type normally. I have the trackpad in the middle, but just for the video, let's remove the trackpad to see the keyboard in better detail. So um, on my Mac, I have opened the app Keymap and um, this shows you the layer of the or the active layer act at the moment the, the layout of the active layer and this is my base layer and i have set up some keys to switch to different layers for example this key switches to a layer where i have all my um, special characters you can see those there the um, parentheses and special characters in, in, in general this is where I can I can switch to that layer with this key here, and the, I have set up the layout that it shows the important keys um, in blue, in on this layer. I have another key down here that switches to another layer where I can type numbers. For example, if I press that key, you can see I have. Um, red and um, purple and here you can see the layout in the application I have the numbers and then there are several special keys that um, they, that, that are essential um, key combinations I use for Xcode I'm an iOS developer and those are keys I use for Xcode often so they are on that layer as well then I have another layer that switches to a different um, to a different layer, or another key that switches to a different layer. This is this key here. You can see it here. It switches to the layer three. And if I press this key, there's another layer, um, especially for Xcode. And you can see the important keys uh, light up and they are set up like this these are keys that are important for me for xcode as well so i have two layers with special key combinations for xcode and there's another layer that switch another key that switches to another layer <coughs> this is this, the key down there <coughs> it switches to layer four and this layer is uh, mouse movement mouse movements i can do mouse movements and mouse clicks with um, my keyboard and these are set up here and I also have here key um, shortcuts that start do a snapshot of the um, screen and um, record the screen and you can see it on the keyboard those um, setup keys are also um, the layout is set up in a way that you can see the the important keys. And um, there's another key that switches to another layer. This is down here. And this is a layer where I can start or switch to specific um, applications using Alfred. So I have a work a workflow, I have workflows in Alfred that um, bring those apps into the foreground. And those are set up here. I will add other apps as well, but those are the essential ones. You can see here in the layout, um, Xcode, Slack, Terminal and Safari. So if I hold down this key and tap one of those um, keys, then I switch to this application. And this is right now um, the layers I use. There are two other layers that were already set up for this keyboard. And I haven't changed them, but I have no way to switch to those layers, so I don't mention them here. These are the layers I use daily. So this is um, a short review about my layout, my keyboard layout. I will do a complete review of the keyboard itself and how it feels 
in uh, one or two weeks when I have more experience using this keyboard. I hope this video helps you to figure out if this keyboard is something you would like or if the switching of layers is, is worth it. I think it is. I think this is the most important thing about this keyboard. But let me know in the comments what you think about that. So until next time, see you then. Bye.